Hmm. Has your fridge ever made this sound before? Yeah, yeah that, that sound. A buzzing, constant buzzing. Hey guys, Brent with Your Own Tools, aka BOIT. Thank you for joining me, and today we are going to be working on fixing a refrigerator. Now, this is my refrigerator, and it is 10 p.m., and it is 50 degrees inside. I know the remedy. Let's get started. First off, the fridge that I'm having issues with is a Samsung RF267 series refrigerator. The issue with this fridge, which I've dealt with in the past, is that the radiator coils in the back of the fridge are completely frozen, which makes it so the fridge can't regulate the temperature properly, which is why the temperature in the fridge is so high, and why it's making this horrific noise. It frozen over so bad that even the air ducts in the system has frozen over and made these nice little cubes. Yeah, look at that. Really cute. In any case, we have to de-thaw this thing thoroughly. So first step, let's talk about materials. Grab a small heater if possible, some type of cup with baster, a heat gun or hair dryer, and a drill or screwdriver. Now with this refrigerator, you are able to hold down two buttons on the front display and actually turn off the cooling system, which you should do if possible. And because water and electricity don't mix, you want to make sure you plug it into a GFI outlet. The last thing you want to have to worry about is getting shocked and Dying. I first place the heater inside the refrigerator to help start the dethawing process. I then remove all of the screws to help remove all of the shelving brackets. This should be pretty simple for most refrigerators. At this point you just have to start tugging. Now most likely if this is completely frozen over you will not be able to just nice and easily remove this which you should be able to if you don't have coils that are frozen salt. Now because we are dethawing ice that tends to create water so go ahead and place a nice towel at the bottom there to collect all the moisture. And again I reiterate please make sure you're careful with these electrical devices because of the fact that in all reality I'm not a licensed electrician and yes I don't want to be shocked but I don't want anyone else to be shocked while doing this so making sure that you're careful here and not to mix the two is very vital. Now depending on how badly your fridge is frozen over, it reflects on how long it will take you to actually remove this panel. This panel took me over an hour just to remove it. And as you can see, this is why. Look at all that ice build up. Dear goodness. Now at this point, you will take your heat gun or your hair dryer and start melting ice. Now the panel might not come off right away because of the fact that there's a couple electronic devices that might be frozen into the ice. Make sure you're careful, especially with the heat gun, because heat guns get extremely hot and they can melt plastic extremely easy. At this point, you're going to want to start boiling up some water or just getting some hot water from the faucet, and this will allow you to melt ice much quicker. Just take your turkey baster, fill it up, and start squeezing. Did that sound dirty? I don't know. Kind of. Oh well. With the help of hot water, a heat gun, and you just ripping off large chunks of ice, this process actually should go pretty quickly. Just make sure you're careful while removing ice because one, there's a lot of sharp objects in this area, and two, there's a lot of items that are fairly easily, easily breakable. So just FYI. As a side note, this is more of a temporary fix. I had to do this about six months ago, and it does last for a while, however, it obviously comes back and there's probably more deep-rooted issue with this fridge other than me just having to be thought. And after another hour of my life wasted, you have this. Look at that. Nice and clean. Except for the fact that we have this little area down below here that is supposed to collect water and drain it out the bottom but is solid frozen. What do we do? We take our baster. We remove the water that's sitting there and then we pour in nice hot water into it so it melts the ice below. With everything fully dethawed, you're ready to reinstall your cover plate. Go ahead and plug in your electrical, snap in the panel, and you are back in business. Last step, of course, is reinstalling all of your shelving and hoping that all of your food has not gone bad. Now, you can see in my nice little timeless video here, all of my food products. Please don't judge me. I have a lot of roommates. Yeah. Now, as a side note, I know this is not one of my normal DIY videos, but it did require tools and it took me a while, so I'm hoping that in the future this will help someone out there that has the same similar problem. Oh, and finally, a working refrigerator is a beautiful sexy beast to me. And there you have it, episode number 11 of BRIT done, good to go. Hopefully you guys don't have this problem at home, but if you do, hopefully this video helped, it sure did help me, and we'll go from there. 
Thank you for joining me. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And please let me know what you'd like me to do in my next video. I might do it. In any case, thank you for your time. And catch you next time. Whoops.